All right, guys, yeah, we chase on. We have another sighting from Wentworth Falls, guys. Wentworth Falls is up around Blue Mountains, Katoomba. So we've had a couple of sightings from this area. The last one, just recently, there was all the people that live along this road and there was people in the group that were going to go and do a, a search along here. Some people live in this area. We also had another sighting on the other side, over here somewhere. Um, that was a, a Yowie that jumped on the roof of a car. And um, that was during COVID. Then we had this recent one. So if you go back through the videos, you'll be able to find that. What we'll do is we'll just we'll go back. So yeah, look for this one, Blue Mountains Investigation. That's where we are now. If you have a look on the picture, we're down in here. All right, then you've got to go back a fair bit. Oh, this might work. There's actually two Wentworth Falls. Where are they? There's another Katoomba one. You might want to watch that as well. I don't remember. Oh, here they are. <clears throat> so there's this one. Oh, yeah, so watch this one here. Yoey sign and Wentworth Falls because... There's actually two, but only one works. Because I was having trouble with the sound, like I'm having trouble with it now. So yeah, watch that one. Oh look, there's on my way to Stickland Track. I didn't, I've been looking for that. <laughs> oh, hello, hello Stickland. All right, before I get into this sighting, I just noticed something here. So have a look at this. Remember I was telling you in one of the other videos that if you see your mountainous area and you see a grassy area? Well, this is where Yowies would be hanging off around this. So if you were camping here, Yowies would just stay just out of the light. But they'd also, they'd be waiting for stuff to come in here and eat grass. So yeah, this is good grass. This is like a a um, smorgas, not a smorgasbord. This would be like a food court in a shopping centre. This is where all the animals come to eat. All right, but the yowies will be just on this edge. And they'll be like, mm, what do I feel like tonight? Chicken tonight? Or do I feel like curry deer? Or do I feel like Skippy Burger? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they'll be, guys, anyway. This is probably where this lady, in this next um, story is probably where this lady was camped. She doesn't say, she says new went work forward, so. Anyway, what we'll go do, so this is the ridge line where those other people were going to go. This track's about 30 k's. If you live in this area, I'd be checking this place out every night, seriously, if I live there. I'd actually move here and just stay down here every night. <laughs> All right, let's go read the bloody, let's read the story. All right, so this is going to be number 1403, guys. Now, this lady really gets into it. All right, so location, Blue Mountains, New South Wales, Australia, New Wentworth Falls, year 2003. Time was 3.45 a.m., February the 15th. Description of Yowie stood approximately 6.5 tall, covered in dark brown shaggy fur. Its body was a mix of ape-like and human-like features with a flat face, broad nose and glowing red eyes. It emitted a strong odour, similar to rotten egg and sweat. My story. I was on a solo camping trip, sleeping in my tent near the falls. I woke up to strange noises and stepped out to investigate. That's when I saw the Yowie running through my campsite about 20 feet away. It was tearing open food containers and making guttural growls. I froze, unsure what to do. The creature suddenly turned towards me, its eyes fixed on mine. I slowly backed away, trying not to make sudden movements. After a few tense 
moments, the yaoi turned and lumbered off into the darkness. All right, so yeah, thanks for um, thanks for sharing your story. So where's Wentworth Falls? I think that's Wentworth Falls might be on the other side, guys. Is that where the falls are? Oh, no, here's the falls here, look. Any camp down there? Don't know. All right. Um, so when was it? 2003, things were probably different 20 years ago. All right, so if anyone's had a sighting around here, anywhere, guys, anywhere you've had a sighting, an encounter, or you know a good hot spot for us to go check out, send them in, guys. All right, all the, all the ways to contact me are in the description of this video. All right, what we're going to do now, a lot of people don't want to hear this. We're going to go and have some fun. We're going to go read some comments. So if you don't like that part of the show, that's what we're going to do. All right, so this is on the um, the Deving Heights um, video. Deving Heights, is it? Yeah, DB Heights Possible Encounter. Um, so, Craig Skipper, just tell Roscoe to grow a pair. So, yeah, guys, if you don't know what's going on with Roscoe, Roscoe's um, Australia's number one tracker. Like, there's nothing Roscoe doesn't know. Um, I don't think he doesn't know is how to find a Yowie. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me how to find one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. He's all right. He's all right, Roscoe. I don't know. He wrote, you know what? He, he There was 15 comments on one of the videos. I don't know where they were going. He must have took it all down. He was, he got, man, he got really upset when I said, because he used to send me photos, right, of Yowies. He'd go, can't you see it? And I'd look at it and I'd think, yeah, I can see a tree. Anyway, I said in one of the videos, the only ones I've ever seen are the, the tree ones you've sent me. Oh, he got. Man, he got caught big time. He started calling me names. How's me vegan diet going? How's me false teeth? <laughs> oh, man, he got nasty, eh? Anyway, he's taking it all down now. He must have realised, well, he, he, he's gone a bit too far with his call, calling the name calling. Anyway, we don't take offence to Roscoe. You can call me whatever you want, man. And, and, and just for your information, mate, I've still got all my teeth, so I don't know where you come up with this false teeth thing. There's a lot of there's a lot of false claims going around about me. So that must be just another one. But anyway, it's pretty pretty funny. All right, so uh, let's go read this one. This is from Jonathan Fearme. Drove down there for a look a few months back, only five minutes from home. So he's talking about DB Heights where the mission is. It's all like been cleared now. I saw stuff posted around. Paul McLeod was a hoax. Not true, mate. Uh, look, they'd all come from this one guy. He's a, the guy's a, I don't know. Used to follow his clips in a few years ago when he did a visit over there. Yeah, I went with him. I don't, I don't know either way if, if he is, or was, nah. The creeks around Amber Meadow, one mile, are definitely potential. Worrell Creek runs right up close to the southern end of the runway behind the 25 metre range. Plenty of cow, sheep, and roos in there. Every so often I hear a, sir a siren like how. Yeah, no, they're definitely, I, mean, I know for a fact they're around Amber and your man, um, one mile. Um, we had a guy, he was, he lived on that Worrell Creek. And heard him up there not long ago. Um, another guy seen one near the one of the raft guys seen one near the creek. I can't find where I read that. I don't know, or he sent it in to me. I don't know. I read it somewhere. And and Paul's not a hoaxer. Huh? That was this guy. There's a look, there's a guy. You got to understand. This is what people need to understand. Okay. There's. There's a Yowie group, right? And in that Yowie group, they're all good friends, right? There could be 20 or 30 of them. And they stick together, okay? Now, everything they say is gospel, all right? 
It doesn't matter if they see pareidolia. If they say it's a yaoi, it's a yaoi, okay? If it's me or if it's somebody else, and we say, oh, I think this is a yaoi to them, that's pareidolia, okay? Because they didn't see it or they weren't involved in it, okay? <laughs> this is what goes on, guys. You've, you've just got to understand, like, there's a lot of people that haven't got a clue what's going on out there, but... Like I'm telling you, there's this one group. Anyway, so the guy that started all this with Paul, he's this guy. He 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 picks on he he picked on Paul. Then he went from Paul. He started on me, and now he's on steps. Okay, this is what he does. He he um I don't know. He he must want to be like us. He must sit at home um, in his mum's house, you know, upset with himself. I don't know. Um, it's funny. He's got he's got friends that one. He's got one friend. He'll he'll drive. He just drives down the shop to get milk that tastes like real milk, and he'll see a dog man on the way. But his little mate, because he's in this little click group. He never says nothing to him. Don't say boo. Then there's another guy who who started his own little page after he got the sack from this little click group. He used to be in the click group too, but he got the sack. He had too many tinnies, I think, and sunk the bloody shear. Um, he likes to post um, pareidolia photos of Yowie's in the bush. Oh, he's an old Yowie in the bush. Pareidolia. This guy doesn't say nothing to him either. This is what I mean. It's, um, this guy's just got it in for anybody that's not in his little um, group. Because what it is, they all try to, there's this one guy that runs this group, and they all try to make out to this one guy how good they are. Oh, look at me, look, I told him off. Oh, I did this. This is what they do. It's really funny to watch. All right, let's go on in. Why did Paul McLeod delete his global... Mo I, look, I don't know. Look, who knows, man? Life's tough. I probably do know why. Life's tough. You know, sometimes you just got to have a break. You know, I'd say he's just having a break. He did message me the other day. He sent me some photos and some stuff that he was looking into. So he's still out there doing it. So I don't know. It's a lot of work doing this, guys. I, so... Who knows? Look, I wish I could stop. I wish I could just go, I'm stopping. I, I had such a better life before I got into Yowies. <laughs> I don't even know why I do it. Seriously, I just want to see one. You know what I mean? But before before I got into Yowies, it's been like 2019. Is it? Oh my God, has it been five years? God. I was having a way better life. Like most people see Yowie and that's what gets them into it. I just heard about him and I looked into it and then I got sucked into it. Like once you get into it, you can't stop. It's, I don't know, it's out of control. All right. Um, that's about all I got, ain't eh? All right, this is in the Alice Springs Yowie encounter. Pine Gap and the Snowy Mountains are two main dumb, deep underground military base locations in Australia. Probably there are far more than we're led to believe. Yeah, well, I've heard stories about it under, and they're supposed to have all these bloody trains and that, uh, tunnels, and I don't know what speeds they do, crazy speeds. So, yeah, who knows what's going on underneath the ground? All right. All right, this is interesting, guys. So, like, I don't know if I've told you, but my Yowie Signs Australia group has been totally destroyed by Facebook. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I just I just clicked on to it, and there's four people that have joined. That's like a record for the last three months because you probably only get one or two people a day joining, down from 100 to between 50 and 100. So I just see no sorting of Yowie, but seen a Sasquatch here in BC. 
British Columbia must be. Very interesting hearing more stories around the world. So he must have made it overseas somewhere. Because I've got another one from British Columbia. British Columbia. From Canada, interested in sightings of bipedal creatures from around the world. Uh, we've got another one from New York. And, oh, we've got one from New Zealand, guys. What's going on? No sightings from New Zealand. Extremely interested. So, yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on there. That's good that we're getting out there. Someone must have shared it somewhere. That's good. All right, guys, so if you've had any sightings or any, you know, the deal, all the things are in the description below, how to contact me. And to those people I mentioned, don't take offence to it. It's just a little bit of comedy, you know. All right. We'll see you on that. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one, eh? Cheers. Bye.